What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I told you as I finish and update my draft classes, I will post a video letting you guys know uh, and give you guys a preview. For those of you that are, are on PC, these draft classes are always going to be available first on my Patreon. You don't have to be like a $50 Patreon to get access to them. Even the $2 Patreons get these draft classes first and then, you know, usually a day or so after they become available on the Madden Share on PC. Now, I have told you guys about console. Very close. As far as I can tell you right now for an update, I'm expecting PlayStation 4 draft classes to be done within the next day or so. At least we'll be starting with 2020. Xbox classes, I'm still looking for someone to step up on Xbox to, to say that, you know, I can hammer these out in a couple days and get these draft classes out. Because I know Xbox desperately needs them. Um... Again, you know, I'll be honest with you, it, it took me a day, a, a solid day of working on every draft class to get it done. Um, and the fact that whoever's taking over creating these draft classes, basically they get a spreadsheet that has what their base overall should be. You have all their attributes, what they sh roughly should look like. The only thing you don't get is, you know, really every individual attribute. You kind of just have a, a finish line. You got to kind of get the way they are. And maybe I could... could um, Make them a little bit easier, but I, I, you know, I, the notes are ultimately for me. I'm trying to do my best to get the classes on console, spread them around, spread the love around. But with these draft classes here, anyway, let's preview them so you can see what players we have highlighted here in 2021. And obviously, the big dog is Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback from Clemson. Behind that, we got Justin Fields, JT Daniels, Alan Bowman from Texas Tech as our first round quarterback. So, this is always tough when you get into year two. Pretty much any draft class is always kind of tough because you have to project if what underclassmen are going to declare, what seniors are going to stay. Like for here, I assume Sam Ellinger is going to stay next year at Texas. Why? I don't necessarily know why. I just feel like he seems like that's what he got going for him. He's not probably going to get drafted fairly high at, tex at out of Texas. So maybe he stays at Texas, tries to become a big-time legend there. I got Ian Book as well from Notre Dame. Uh, I have him as a senior, but the rest of the draft class, you know, it's a pretty solid draft class. We have some UDFAs as well. Not nearly as many as we had in the 2020 class, but I try to have at least three to four. So you guys, you know, in round seven, you have still a bunch of options. You don't just have to draft the guys that are projected to go in round seven. Um, running backs, we got Jamar Jefferson, CJ Verdell as our top back, Kennedy Brooks, Ingram. You got some, some five-star running backs, some guys that are also very talented. Puka Williams got some off-the-field issues. Chuba Hubbard, Canada. Shout out to Canada. Fullback here. You got Hunter Bryant from Washington. A wide receiver. This is a stacked wide receiver class. Rondale Moore, uh, Monroe St. Brown, Justin Ross, Jalen Waddell. And you can even probably include Devontae Smith, Tamori Ontario, and KJ Hamler as, you know, I, again, I, I just feel like the class of wide receivers that we're going to be getting in 2020 and 2021 are going to be huge. So for your franchise modes, I hope you guys do need wide receivers. And I can tell you right now, three of these four, definitely try to get them. <laughs> uh, tight end, we got Firemouth and Breven Jordan as the top Ferguson stall. It's, it's a pretty solid tight end class, to be honest with you. Thaddeus Moss, we got Randy Moss's son. That's always awesome. But guarantee he's going to be a popular selection. On the offensive line, we have Penai Sewell. The best tackles, Jackson Carmen. Uh, Filet LA, look at that, 6'9", 400 pounds. This guy's a monster. Solomon Kidley, get some guards here. Solid guard play. Creed Humphrey, one of the better centers. Petrula, really good center class, if I have to be honest with you, too. I don't. I did the ratings last night to clean them up. Um, center's a good position, I'll say that, in this year's draft. I uh, got Hayes and Sawyer for the top outside guards here. Uh, Petit Friere from Ohio State, should have went to Florida. Cade May, Jadrick Wills, Abraham Lucas, who we actually used in a rebuild. A uh, really good player, developed into like a 90 for us. Not the same draft class, but, you know, hey, if you want to if you want to try to go along the same career path that we had in a rebuild, he could end up being very good. Now we're going to, on the defensive side of the ball, we got K.J. Henry as our first round pick here from Clemson. Tyler Johnson, Arizona State, is also very talented. Some solid depth here. Xavier Thomas from Clemson, two Clemson defensive ends, protecting on the first round. Uh, I think I have Thomas, top five talent, top five pick in this year's draft. I think that's how it's going to play out. He's been outstanding, showing lots of big-time flashes. Uh, we have on the D-tackle side, Teron Vincent. Pretty good D-tackle class, too. More so if you're looking for the big boys, the run stuffers. But uh, there's some nice value there. 
Outside linebacker, Patrick Queen, Merlin Robinson. Can't recommend either one of those guys enough. Patrick Queen more so for a 4-3. Robertson for a 3-4 outside linebacker type role. Middle linebacker, Micah Parsons. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Gao Teote. Palais Gao Teote. I don't know, but he's really, really good for USC. You get Anthony Hines, Ben Davis. Um, Salt linebacker. I mean, when Monty Rice out of Georgia, I, th- I think Pro Football Focus said Monty Rice didn't even miss a single tack last year. When he's just going in the seventh round, you know, there's a bunch of depth and middle linebacker. Uh, Kaylevar Chasson from LSU. Got that Bayou name, straight up French. So luckily, I'm Canadian. I mean, the first part of the name is not Canadian. I don't think I've ever seen a name like that in my life, but Chasson uh, from LSU. He's very talented. Uh, so, another thing is that when you go start to go a couple draft classes in the future, there's some uncertainty players. Anoma, really talented outside linebacker from Alabama. He's actually the transfer portal right now. It's looked like he's going to Maryland, but he's not confirmed. So like all my draft classes that I'm going to preview and showcase and, and, and give you guys, they're going to be updated throughout. You know, anytime a, maybe a soft, anytime maybe an underclassman comes out of the blue, clearly should get pushed up a draft class or anything like that, I will be adding them. And anytime players do transfer, because we do the transfer portal, feels like more so... This offseason than ever, the transfer portal is super OP. I'm going to have to modify what schools, so Anoma's just one of the few players that uh, I'm definitely going to need to take a look at. We got we got small school players, so you can't get on console. Jabril Cox from North Dakota State is a monster, but on console, when you're just using the offline editor or whatever, you can't put Cox for whatever reason. Even though it's a, it's a last name of one of the best defensive tackles in the league, you just can't put Cox in for their day. But you sure can on PC, so we got him here. Look at Snowden. Look at this outside line. This guy's a monster. 6'7", outside linebacker from Virginia. What are you, Jabril Peppers out here? And by Jabril Peppers, I am just woke up an hour, or not even an hour ago. I literally just woke up 15 minutes ago, and I met Julius Peppers. All right, the secondary, we've got Patrick Certain, Okuda, Marco Wilson. Now, Okuda could be in 2020. I'm going to guess because he hasn't really started yet. He might wait to come as a senior. But, I mean, this is a guy for sure that we could have to push ahead. Ohio State corners, probably. It's, it's a... It's it's almost like NBA players or, or college players, you know, in, in basketball. You just want to – if you go to Iowa State, you want to get out as soon as possible to the draft. So, Kuda could be a guy we're going to have to monitor to see if he does decide to declare in 2020. we got Asante Samuel Jr., the son of great Patriot, great Philadelphia Eagle corner, Asante Samuel. Oh, Blades, Mac McKay. we got some small school prospects. Oh, don't you think for one second I wasn't scouting through FCS competition to try and give you guys the best draft class. And Mac McCain, you want to look at small school players. This guy is a big-time baller. Uh, full depth here. We get all the seventh round. We got some UDFAs for sure. Free safety, Trey Dean, LeCou, Andre Sisco. Javo- great free safety class as well. Reed Blankenship. Guy has ridiculous numbers. You got a guy named Straight Up Smoke Monday. Awesome. Then it's strong safety. You have Caden Stearns, Jaden Woodbay. Um, really anyone in the first three rounds, it's not a lot of depth to it because we only have fourth round, seven draftable strong safeties, but there are some, um, Eisworth, Bennett Williams, uh, three, I think maybe only two, maybe only two UDFAs for that strong safety position. But Caden Stearns looks to be absolutely incredible for Texas. Woodbay is kind of that money backer type guy from Florida state, similar to Derwin James. I'm not saying he's as good as Derwin James, but he is that Derwin James type player. For Florida State, we got a couple kickers here: McPherson, Schmidt, Dicker, and Brandon Ruiz, Tommy Townsend, Ryan Stonehouse, and Brad Robbins as your punters. So there you go, guys. That is a quick preview of the 2021 draft class that is now available on Patreon. If you want to get that raw file, it'll be available on the Madden Share probably this evening, later this on, later on tonight. Uh, just search for 2021 on PC. I'll, I'll just put it all in the video description. 2021, or just look for C4s around. There's not a lot of um, files uploaded, so you guys can get the get the hookup. And again, need to stress that what kind of makes these draft classes stand, I'm not going to toot my horn and say, well, there's C4s draft classes, so utilize them. But my boy Cursive, the guy beyond Flashback Franchise, he has gone and created a tool for these draft classes because he has all the draft classes, like the 2001 all the way to 2019. 
that gets the ratings, the base ratings, to fit and match the ratings curve that they have brought into Madden 20. I've tried a couple other draft classes, and they're still using like the same ratings they use in Madden 19, like where quarterbacks, almost like you know, the top five quarterbacks are all 75 plus, you know, stuff like that. That just isn't true with the landscape of the draft classes that we now have to use in Madden 20. So all my draft classes going forward are going to be scaled to fit Madden 20. I have the 2022 draft class. So that is the third draft class. That draft class just needs to be touched up. All the players are created. I think we already got 300 players. I just need to go touch that up. And I'm hoping, you know, maybe this time next week, maybe a little bit earlier, I'm going to try to shoot. I'm very busy this weekend. Maybe Tuesday. Yeah, probably this time next week that we will have 2022 done. And I have my spreadsheet ready for 2023. I have to actually go in and create that one. But we're going to have four draft classes very, very soon. And it's going to be paramount that I get those done. I want to get five draft classes done before I start my new Realistic Rebuild series because we're going to be doing them in years of five. And I want at least the first episode to get five years of rookies so that we will have uh, a lot of guys we know, a lot of guys we can attach ourselves with. Because I think... Based upon the poll that I posted the other day on the YouTubes, you guys want to see for the Realistic Rebuilds, three, five years, so 15-year rebuilds, which, I mean, makes sense. It's a slow approach. I, I feel like it, it's it not only is it a slow approach, but it's a fine medium between what you get right now in the rebuilds that are just a one-shot, five-year rebuild, and and what you get for the Raiders franchise. That's a you know week-by-week, in-depth kind of thing. I think the, the happy balance would be a three videos, five years per each video, and the fact that we'll be able to get five draft classes of real players. Obviously, if you don't really follow college football, you're probably only going to know guys from the first two or three draft classes anyways. But trust me, um, I think that's going to be pretty cool. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to show off this draft class. Tra this is how you get Trevor Lawrence, Rondale Moore, Justin Fields, Marmer St. Brown, all these guys in a Madden 2021 is or Madden 20. By using my 2021 draft classes. So you guys can go out and enjoy them. And hopefully they come on console sooner or later. Literally as soon as things start popping. I'll make sure to let you guys know. But PS4 players get ready. I think we have a dude right now. That's going to be hammering these out. And getting them to you very very soon. So thank you guys for watching as always. If you're first time stopping by don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time it's C4. Same peace out.